Welcome back to the final part of the Bush uh, RP50 restoration job. And I thought this afternoon um, I'd actually play some records. Today's the 7th of June 2009 and it's the weekend of the celebration of the anniversary of D-Day and uh, many of our veterans have gone across to Normandy to the beaches there and had a celebration with the Prime Minister and the Prince of Wales which has been great and they've really enjoyed that and that was on television and I thought to um, celebrate that I'd actually also be playing some records from the era and uh, so I've got a particularly nice one by John Snag, a collection of mine which uh, is the radio commentary from the era, era uh, the liberation and uh, also um, the final D-Day assault, so I thought I'd play that later. But to start with, I thought I'd show you this very interesting box of records. It's actually a steel box, and it contains, I would suggest, about 30 12-inch LP-type size records. They're 78s, and I bought them from a chap in Canterbury, along with the ones that I played earlier in other broadcasts. And it's interesting because this box is really heavy. I mean, it's, I'd say it weighs about at least 15 k's to lift. And it's really well made. It's, it's made of steel. It reminds me of something that you have in the catering trade when you're cooking on the stove. It's that heavy. And it comes with these rather nice clips at the side here and they're all numbered these records obviously the gentleman who I bought the records of his father they belong to uh, labelled them all and this one's labelled L1986 and it's the trumpet voluntary for brass and organ um, and also on the second side it's the Solomon melody so just to demonstrate that my friend George has now got his record player apart from one bit which is the cartridge. I'm still waiting for the right one to come but we'll use the we'll use this one. It'll do for the demonstration. Completely cleaned up and I've now polished it with some good old boot polish and wax polish and I do think he looks quite quite good actually. But I'll let you be the judge of that. So let's just see what the drop works and this is on the Colombian label. It's actually Sir Hamilton Hartley conducting the Halle Orchestra and the, the solo trumpet player is Alex Harris when the organist is Harold Dwyer. God knows who they are, but they're, they're probably quite famous if it's known. And we're in the Garden of England here in Kent, UK, and I just thought it would be fitting to play this. I've also got one or two others that I thought I might put on there, some operatic but um, I've cleaned this up, it was quite dirty, I've cleaned them up and I've also cleaned up the ones that I mentioned in the last video using this particular piece of kit. So um, let's see, I'll just, um, should drop down okay. Anyway, enjoy.
Well, wasn't that nice? Let's help our friend here to... Okay, well thanks for watching. See you later.